All right, y'all, I'm back from the gym, making myself a cup of tea. I'm about to hop on live like this because I'm tired. But the thing is, like, I'm telling you, you take care of your girl. Your girl will take care of you, too. Whew. <laughs> Whew. People want to joke and be like, oh, your girl has only fans. Oh, she does sex work. That's not your girl. It's our girl. Yes. And they take care of your girl. And not a soul is laying a hand on me. So, anyways. <laughs> Making a cup of tea when I get the energy and strength after sitting on the couch and editing. I will make tacos. The workout I did was embarrassing. Like, I I just did it to get back into the swing of it, and that's it. But, yeah, I'm going to make some tea and sit and chill, so. It's technically fall. I am halfway through the summer vlogs of the actual summer. The last, like, maybe 10 to 15 summer vlogs will probably be me in the house and doing a few more last-minute fun activities. But I'm gonna let y'all know I'm in grind mode. So I'm gonna be showing you how I'm getting down. And I hope you're getting down with me. Like, we got this. Whatever you need to go do, go do it. We're doing it in solidarity, okay? So, <laughs> come on. We got each other. Like, whew. I need to go to a kickboxing class. I'd love to get my little curves in too. Also, I wanna take a quick moment and say, I need to remember how far I came in my sex work journey because the fact that people are even tipping and supporting and purchasing like this, like I know I said it's slow, but it's slow compared to my usual. And even now it is picking up. It is like, it might feel slow, but it's really just a couple of days like, okay, today wasn't a good day. It's really just not having all good days, but that's life. You're not gonna always have good days. So the fact that I have anybody supporting my content is mind boggling. Cause I remember I was just happy when I got my first supporter. I was like, they tipped me a token. <laughs> like, so I have to remember how far I came as well. And you know, I'm not trying to get greedy. So I just thought about it. I was like, you know what? You're doing pretty damn good. You are comparing your sex work in comparison to your finances, which is not fair because even if I was working a regular job, I would probably still be pretty overwhelmed with my bills and stuff. So, you know, I'm just trying to knock them down and get things handled, but it's slow, but surely that type of thing. But yeah, I just wanted to say that real quick. I'm sitting down drinking tea. I didn't do too much at the gym because, <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to y'all. I just wanted to say that real quick. I am very grateful and I came a very far away and I think I'm doing a great job. So let's keep it up. Okay, and I had to practice Pulling back, that's another thing I was giving, giving, giving. Now people realize if they want to receive, hey, you got to give a little something too, baby. I usually don't do any type of favor where I expect anything in return, but at the end of the day, this is still work. So people have gotten the memo and I love that. When I'm in a good mood, when I'm good, when I can put groceries in my fridge today, oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Didn't have to beg, didn't have to ask, it was just sent. I was like, wow, never expected, but always grateful if it arrives. Like, you know, that put me in a good mood, having food in my fridge. Also, I have surprisingly adjusted to my partner or my ex-partner not being around. And that's just life. You're not always gonna be around the same people or places as you were. And that's kind of the point sometimes. You have to grow and evolve and keep it pushing. So, you know, it's nice knowing that he still comes around and he still technically lives here, but I'm getting used to just taking care of myself. So we are working on that now. Whew, I did it. I did it. <laughs> All by myself, I did it. Damn. Heart racing and shit. Oh, also, by the way, on 3%, <laughs> time was ticking. Good morning, y'all. It is 4 a.m. because I fell asleep early, but I also woke up early. I was in the middle of editing. I just took my contacts out, brushed my teeth, and I am about to eat some grapes and edit. I got some tiger's balm on my back because my back hurts, and I'm about to eat these cold ass grapes, which is the perfect contrasting combination for me. So, oh my goodness, blessed. And we're about to drink our water, okay? What's up, y'all? I'm gonna take a quick little nap because I'm up way too early and I'm not about to stay up without getting through the day without a nap. That being said, I was thinking about it and, you know, it's crazy because I talked about it. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and make my hub videos public again. Maybe not all of them, but a good chunk of them. Cause I realize whoever's gonna support you at the end of the day is going to support you. They know they have intimate access to you. They can talk to you. They wanna support you just cause they can. The freeloaders at the end of the day, you can't force their hand. And yes, you could take content away, but I realized not only am I cutting into my monthly hub check, it doesn't go as far as I'd like it to go, but you know, it's still there. But also the fact that I actually lost some advertisement because I do not have nearly as many snap ads anymore. And that's a chance of people who would want to join and spend money. So yeah, I might just go ahead and make some public again, or maybe the shows, like the low quality webcam shows. So y'all know that, you know, I put on a good show. But if you want to see it in high definition, you got to come to my snap. I don't know. I might do that today. Like, just leave the low quality ones up and then maybe a couple really good ones. I don't know. I just need more advertisement. I feel like my plan backfired. But at the end of the day, I'm really grateful for people who support me. Who know I'm on the hub for free. Who know they can find me here and there. And they still, you know, put coin in my pocket. So I have a place to create. But yeah, I just thought about that. And at the end of the day, it don't matter. Like, I want to be so deep in my bag that I don't care if I have 500 videos on the hub. Like, it should not matter. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I have a dress coming in later. Probably the last time I could wear it. I'm going to do some stuff for the style page. And uh, hopefully I can make some good coin today. Because I would love to go get that blonde wig. I paid the electric. I got groceries. So the last thing I would love to get is that blonde wig. I shouldn't. But we'll see how much my roommate pays towards his tally and then we can see what we're working with because that's an investment at the end of the day so we'll see i want to sleep a little bit so i'll talk to y'all also my new videos aren't going to get any views if they're unlisted so i'm gonna just probably make all the low quality webcam cam girl ones public and then just keep the high quality for my other platforms and yes, I'm trying to be intentionally annoying <laughs> just because people be intentionally annoying with me. At least the freeloaders do, so. Mm. Plus, I just don't want to overexpose myself if it's not worth it at the moment. In general, sure. But if it's not worth it. Ooh, excuse me. Reality is things are a lot different when you are famous or whatever, you're an internet person versus when you are just your regular local sex worker. And I'm probably doing better for myself because of the followers, but even then, trust me, it's not translating the way y'all think it translates. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm grateful. <laughs> yeah. Mm, take like two more hours to myself, y'all. Hey, y'all, what's up? So I just got out the shower. Whew. I said I was gonna take a break from playing because I'm hurting and I'm sore and I feel like my pH is like, sis, be careful, you're pushing it. But I just had a regular who wanted a show and what well, we turning down money now, like this is my job. So, you know, no more playing for free or just in general or I've been stopped that a while ago. Like I don't, you know, it's pay to play, it really is. But um, they actually requested a private. So yeah, that being said, I made a quick 50 this morning. My roommate sent over 300, which I'm grateful for. However, that is going to, um, and you know, well, we're not gonna clap for you taking care of your own responsibilities. But that being said, that is going to back pay slash backlog. So technically I am covering the entirety of the rent by myself. It is the end of the month. Um, so, you know, that is all on me. I have been clocking hella hours camming i'm looking at 130 right now in the account i just transferred over 60 i'm pushing dof i'm doing all that stuff and yeah <laughs> yeah this shit's no joke baby i've been i've been clocking my time i've been putting in the time i've been putting in the work okay and it's funny because there were so many comments on my work oh you just play with your pussy all day what do you even do you just stay at home you got the luxury of staying at home but it's crazy how that's keeping the lights on Anyways, let me fix my little attitude. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy he sent over the 300. That immediately went over to bills. It went over to my car bill, which I have been neglecting in order to like handle the house. It went partially over to the rent a little bit. And then a part of it went over to a car maintenance bill that I'm still paying off that I financed. So when I say I'm not letting my car be used anymore, uh -uh. I'm serious. I'm not fucking for fun or for free. <laughs> If we can we film in, it's that simple, consensually on both sides because everything needs to be coined at this point. 
<laughs> and I have my little escape plan, like no, you know, malice towards my ex slash roommate, but I'm not doing this again. And I have a tendency to forgive and forget very easily. And I just know what I went through this year. I know I wanted my own, but I didn't know it was gonna come at this cost. So it pushed me, I think it made me a better person. It was a huge mental metamorphosis because I feel like it taught me that not only, I've always been financially free and independent outside of a man, but they taught me you even have to be accountable or you know prepare for the chance of, if you're sharing anything with anybody, whether it's a man, best friend, roommate, you have to prepare for them not coming through. Like, you know, they might not clean, they might not cook, they might not pay their bills, they might not get coined correctly. And I'm not just talking about my partner, ex, whatever, roommate. I've had it before with roommates where I was like, oh, this is not what I expected. So that being said, I am, I have a plan. <laughs> I have a plan and it's gonna be glorious and I'm gonna be living my best life in the next couple years. I already know it. Something told me I was like 27 your golden age. Like every year's a golden age, but like I was like something about 27 is just gonna hit. I know why because 26 I'm preparing. Okay, I'm just been busy, but yeah, yeah. And honestly, every day we shouldn't even look at years and all that stuff. I mean, we should, but every day you should be making special because you know 